three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I'm here online with someone on the other side of the pond over in the UK, and her name is Carolyn Jones. Is that right? Yes. Yay, I got it right. Good memory, huh? So, Carolyn, I, I don't do these very long because time is a commodity that we've all got the same amount and it's very precious. So, we get right into it and just find out who are you, what do you do, where do you do it, when do you do it, and all that kind of stuff. And then the big why, why you do what you do. So, the first one is, who are you? Who is Carolyn? Are you married and got kids? What do you, what's that all about? <laughs> I'm not sure where to start from. <laughs> Too many questions. Okay, my name is Carolyn Jones. I'm a life coach. I live in England with my family. I help people. Um, to, um, I, I help people to realize their dreams. Um, like at, at the moment, I help professionals get um, high paying jobs um, by doing resumes for them and helping them as well to just coaching them through the interview so that they can get the jobs they want, be paid what they deserve. Okay, so somewhat like a key piece of it is like resume writing because that's very important that when someone sees that, that's kind of like you on paper. So if it's not written out right. <laughs> yes, it should bring out your personality and um, give the best picture for yourself. Because you know the people interviewing have thousands and thousands of interviewing, right. <laughs> I mean, resumes in front of them. So you want something that stands out. You want something that will make them call you for an interview. So I know that when I was, I used to have a business and I would look at some interview or resumes and oftentimes I just go to the bottom and find out what their hobbies are and you find out what they're really all about, you know? You find out what their personalities are about. I do. So is that kind of what you do is coach people into what they should be putting on their resume, what's important, what's yeah. to... Okay, very cool. Yeah, everything, yes. Um, some people put very basic right. things on, you know, like hobbies. You need to say a little bit about, let's say, cooking. What what do you like to cook new things? Do you want to invite, do you love to invite friends and entertain them? Just a little bit about what cooking is for you. Lots of people go to colleges, universities, and, you know, lots of people have their parents tell them to do, like, from Africa mainly. Your parents will tell you to do it at accounts or doctor or something in between. Yes. <laughs> and they they go, they do that, they spend all this money and time, and then they come out and they don't get jobs that match what they've studied. So you find lots of people are doing things they're not they're doing unskilled job when they've studied to um to do other things. So I just help them find the right jobs for them that they deserve. Do you do, you do like like uh, like the disc profile and things like that to find out personality traits of what their job should be if they, they think they should be like a computer programmer, but maybe they shouldn't. Maybe they should be an artist or something like that. Yes, uh, I I do profiling, uh, the basic uh, disc profiling. Yeah. To just help them understand better about themselves and what they can do. That's very helpful. I know that when I got out of high school, I went into construction like my dad did, and I didn't want to be in construction, but that's where I kind of went because I thought I was supposed to. And yeah, it's been a lot of frustration to people. It's, a, it's an old model where you followed what your parents told you or what society told you to do. But the new model of doing things is finding out what the market wants and then going and learning uh, that and just giving them what they want. So moving on to the next thing, where do you do your work? Do you have an office that you bring people into, or do you work out of your uh, home? home I, I coach over the internet. Okay, sure. That's uh, pretty standard. So you do a lot of Skype conferencing and stuff like that? Yes. Got it. Very cool. And that's the one the cool thing about the internet these days is you can work with someone in Los Angeles when you're way over in the UK, you know? You just have to get the timing right. <laughs> so are you like a morning person or a PM person? I'm a morning person. Yep. I'm normally up by five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, same here. I try to go to bed early, um, <laughs> around eight o'clock, nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, me too. So before I get into like whatever it is you have to offer and how people can get a hold of you to talk more, talk more about it, um, yes. I like to ask my my favorite question. That's the big why question. 
why are you doing this and why aren't you working at like a restaurant or why aren't you running a yoga studio or something? Why are you doing what you're doing? Um, okay, I, I'm doing what I'm doing. I feel that's what I love to do. I love to sit down and talk to people about their dreams and just have them come to reality. Um, when I'm doing that, I don't even feel like I'm working. Before that, I, I used to be a care team manager in a care home, and life was okay, and my children and my husband and everything was going okay. When he, he just became ill and died very quickly, yeah. and my world was thrown into chaos. So I had to come out and find myself. <laughs> Because we, I just met him when I finished school, and um, I just decided to go on a journey of um, self rediscovery. Right. And yeah, I did life coaching just to coach myself out of the situation that I was in. You know, I do a lot of these interviews. And, then and I, for one year, I worked with a personal development coach, and just looked at what he was doing and shadowed and I helped myself get out of that situation and I decided to just pursue my um, my interest and help other people as well so it's kind of people helping people, people helping people kind of thing is what you're doing yes yes I, I do a lot of these interviews and that's what the, the why the big why that everybody does is they, they usually uh, do the they want to help other people so there's hope for humanity <laughs> So if you could, if you have any, if you have a book or any programs or any uh, freebie offers or anything you want to share with how to get a hold of you, could you do that? Yeah, for more about me, people can get information about me and what I'm doing in um, my website. That is carolynjones.co.uk. Uh, I've got a free ebook I offer for anybody who wants to realize their dreams. Um, one of the things that I had to overcome around that time is that Four months prior to my husband dying, um, our mortgage insurance had run out and lapsed, and it wasn't renewed. So when he died, I wasn't paid. So he left me forty thousand pounds in debt, um, and with a broken heart. <laughs> so um, for the two years that I was out of work, just uh, doing voluntary work, I managed to pay. Uh, twenty thousand pounds, and then two, twenty thousand pounds was secured on the mortgage. I managed to pay it off as well. Um, the, it's a long story. The series of miracles happens along the way. And they were all paid, and I just want to tell people that you know there's hope, right? And there's hope, and you know you can get out of any situation. So you've got the experience that you can show people that you're going to be going through the mud and going through the trenches, but there is the possibility of getting to the side. Because I know that sometimes when you're in that stuff and you don't see it, it's kind of like, I, I quit, I, I can't get out of this. And so you're kind of giving them the hope. Yeah, I'd like to give them hope. When okay. they're in that trench, I tell them that this light at the end of the tunnel. Well, give us your website one more time. It's Carolyn Jones, what? .co.uk .co.uk Okay. Um, if you send me that in Facebook, I'll take it and I'll put it on this video too so it's easy just to click the link and yeah. I'll, I'll put this out. Well, wonderful. If you want to hang on, we can have a little more of a chat, but I will beam this one off and put it up to the internet as I say and then if you would, when you see it, if you would share it also, that's what makes Synergy Cafe work. So, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank Brad. you very much, Carolyn. Peace. <laughs>